Hello everyone! Welcome to our summer Sunday school online. And we are so thankful that you're back and you're tuning with us today. Yay! Thank you for joining us today and thank you for supporting our Sunday school and to our uh, dear uh, Christ kids and our guests and to our ever supportive parents. Thank you so much for bringing your kids with us and tuning with us today. Stay tuned. Hi guys. Welcome to Sunday school. Hi yeah. Miss Joy. I hope you're all ready. We're going to talk about love today and being a good neighbor and how that's very important. Hope you guys enjoy it. Well, and I'm doing Sunday school outside. Super nice out. I want it to be outside. The sun's shining and the birds are singing. You can hear them in the background. But, you know, and th these are my favorite kind of days and I love to be outside. So, welcome to Sunday school. Glad you could join us, and let's have fun. Hi, Miss Measley. Good morning. Welcome to our Sunday School Online. It's summertime. Yay! And thank you for saying yes to us once again. And today, we're so excited. We're learning Sunday School, and we're learning more about the Word of God with you, and we're going to be excited to learn more about that today. Okay, let us do some review from our last Sunday, Sunday School. What was the lesson last Sunday? What was it? Yes, it was a story about the Good Samaritan, right? So, who was our teacher last Sunday again? Yes, it was Teacher Carrie. Teacher Carrie had reminded us about doing kindness and sharing love and doing showing care to one another right so today we have miss missy with us to talk more about and how we show love and care to our communities as well now it's time for the bible story it's about love it's first corinthians Chapter 13, verse 1 through 13. Paul continued teaching the people in Corinth through his letter. He wrote, If I don't have love, I am like a clanging gong or a clashing cymbal. If I know everything, but I don't have love, I am nothing. 
If I give away everything I have, but I don't have love, it doesn't make any difference. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love isn't jealous. Love doesn't brag. Love isn't rude. Love isn't grumpy. Love is happy with the truth. Love never fails. Now faith, hope, and love remain. These three things, the greatest of these is love. So now we get to talk about the Bible story. So have you lived out the golden rule this month? You know, they treated people like you'd like to be treated. Sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds. You know, because sometimes people can make you really mad, especially your brother or sister. But then you just got to remember, you know, sometimes we all have bad days and we just need to treat each other with kindness. What have you been doing to help build a stronger relationship with Jesus? Have you been saying your prayers? Have you been helping out mom and dad? Have you been kind to people? Those are all important and those are all things that Jesus wants us to do. Have you been a good neighbor? Have you waved at the lady who lives next door? Have you brought up garbage cans for somebody? You know, all those things, they mean a lot to people. And how have you shown love to someone else? Sometimes it's just even calling somebody on the phone, grandma and grandpa, or, you know, sending a card or writing a letter. That means a lot to people. So those are some ideas of how to be a good neighbor and treating people like you'd like to be treated. What's cooking? Yes, something smells great. I'm making food to take over to Mr. Jones at the library. Why? He hurt his leg and had to have surgery. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Caleb told me that he and Asia helped out at the library last week. Oh really? I want to help. Me too. What can we do to help? Well, I could use some help with the food. Would you like to do that? Sure! Say. It is good that we are doing this to show our love to Mr. Jones. The Bible talks about loving others. In his letter to the Corinthians, Paul wrote about love. He said, If you can speak in many languages, but don't have love, then you are like a clanging gong. Or a clashing symbol. Love is the most important thing. Even if you had the faith to move a mountain, but if you don't have love, then you really don't have anything. The Bible tells us what love is. The Bible says that love is patient. <sighs> Love is kind. Love doesn't brag. Hey! Love isn't rude. Love doesn't keep a record of complaints. Faith, hope, and love remain. But the greatest of all of these is love. So, we're showing love by being kind to Mr. Jones and taking food to him. Very good, Edgar. That is right. What are some other ways you show love? I love teaching people how to play soccer. It takes patience and kindness to help those who are trying to learn. I show love by taking care of Indy. That also takes patience. A lot of patience. Because sometimes Indy doesn't listen. That is very true, Edgar. It does take patience. What are some ways you show love, Abuela? I take care of my family. And I love to cook for people. And you're so good at it. 
I love your cooking. I am glad you like it. Now, why don't you boys help me get this food packed up and we'll take it to Mr. Jones. Oh, right. Yay! How do you show love? Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Vicky today. Um, today we're going to talk about God's love and how you can show God's love towards others, um, towards your family, towards your friends. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to cut your paper out and across and you're going to put, with this one I just put two pieces of paper, one main color on top of another color and then I just wrote down love and then got across. This one I put God's love in different colors Then you put a hole in it and put some yarn on it and it can be a bookmark or you can hang it somewhere to remind you of all of God's love. Now how can you show God's love? You can show it by praying, by reading your Bible, by talking to others about God and all about his love for you and for us. And so I hope you're having a good day. Bye! Hi guys, guess what? Now we get to do the word search. Here, print it out. And what you do is, every time you see a heart, fill in the blank with an O. And if you see a smiley, put an E in there. And then, let me know what it says. It'll be fun. Okay, our memory verse for today is found in Mark chapter 12, verse 31. Love your neighbor as yourself. One more time. Mark 12, 31. Love your neighbor as yourself. Okay? So start learning that. It's easy and short and very, very quick to learn. Mark 12, 31. Love your neighbor as yourself. One, love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. As yourself. As yourself. There you go. Good job. Good job. Now we're going to say a prayer together. So put your hands on your family or you can hold hands or you can just clasp hands and Pray, pray along with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you for our time together. Keep us all safe. Keep us all healthy until we can meet again. In your name we pray. Amen. Announcement, announcement, announcement. Yay. So tomorrow is June 29 Monday. That will be the start of our drive through Pick a Bag VBS. So if anyone wants to join us, you are still welcome to join us. Our uh, uh, pick up time for bags will be between 8 30 a.m. to 9 a.m. at Christ United Methodist Church. So we will be there, Miss Joy and Miss Miriam. And our um, adult leaders, volunteers, and of course, our pastors are going to be welcoming us. We're going to be standing there and we're going to say hi to you. And we're going to give you your bags 
of course, with your open trunks. And we will meet on that day too at 6 p.m. for our Zoom class um, meeting with our science leader, our craft and snack leaders, and all of you guys. So we are excited to do that. And we're going to see everyone. Thank you so much for all the parents who have um, sent their photos with their neighbors. And we are still um, on that goal of you guys sending us your craft project pictures or anything that is related with our Sunday school. That way, our community is still together and we are reaching out to everyone. Uh, with this pandemic age, uh, we are all, um, I know, uh, into that summer mode already. But at the same time, we want to bond with the families and friends as well. But we are missing you guys. So your pictures, your videos, your emails are very important to us. And that is a big help for us to uh, stay connected in the church as well. And uh, learning more about your kids and uh, your happenings. And um, don't forget also our midweek uh, ministries with our kids are uh, all kids fun time. Um, our goal for that is uh, for our church and your kids to stay connected and reaching out to them and praying with them as well. So let me know if you have questions. You can call me at uh, 815-713-8455 or you can email me at jhayag at christumc.cc. God bless you all and stay healthy and stay well always. Bye, have fun, happy Sunday. Well, that is the end of Sunday School. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, be a good neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself, and keep saying your prayers. And pretty soon, we'll be all together again in Sunday School. I can't wait. Bye, guys.